Hello and welcome to the Cornwall Report's news briefing for Tuesday the 7th of February, the local media headlines today. The 19-year-old woman who'd been missing from her home in Saltash has been found safe and well. Pretty much all the local media report the news that Celeste Smith has been reunited with her family after disappearing nearly a week ago. It's understood she was found in Plymouth yesterday afternoon. Fire and rescue services were called to deal with a couple of flooding incidents in Cornwall yesterday evening. Their own website tells us they were called to pump out homes at Polpero near Lou and earlier rescue teams had to winch a car to safety at Halvasso near Longdowns after the driver failed to appreciate how deep was the water. Now we might be on our way out of Europe but the Falmouth Packet reports how the Bickland Industrial Park is to be extended thanks in part to a grant from the European Union worth £3.3 million. The industrial park is already home to companies like Rose Bakers. It'll now be able to provide a wider range of offices and industrial units to help more local companies in the Falmouth area. There are mixed opinions in Perrimporth after news that planning officials are recommending approval of a skate park. Supporters outnumber objectors by about three to one and planners say that on balance, always useful in a skate park, the scheme should get the go ahead. Cornwall councillors are due to rule on the application next week. Meanwhile, mystery still surrounds the deaths of two men in a flat in St Hostel in December. Inquests have been opened, but the cause of their deaths is still not known. However, police do now say they're not currently treating the deaths as suspicious. The Cornish Times tells us that Lulu is to perform at the Lou Music Festival in September, and the Camelford and Delibold Post reports the efforts of North Cornwall MP Scott Mann to win funding for road improvements in the area. And finally, the Cornish and Devon Post has a nice tale about the Launston town crier. Once upon a time there was a vacancy, and Robert Tremaine volunteered and said he'd do the job, but only for one day. That was 40 years ago, to mark the Queen's Silver Jubilee. Well, Robert is still ringing his bell, and he may well have that job for a few more years yet. Thanks very much for watching. Do please keep on with all the likes and shares on Facebook. It really does help. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.